So I rarely make a review video as it's just not my kind of thing. But I'm gonna make half an exception here because well, I too have had this game for more or less 3 or 4 weeks before it released and have had plenty of time to play it. I like most of seeing the negative reviews this game has got. Today I'll give you guys my opinion on Biomutant. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Biomutant be sure to subscribe. Ok so this game has been in the making for years now, many of us have followed this game for a long long while and most of us knew the kind of game it was going to be. A lot of these negative reviews have me sitting here puzzled, it's like a lot of these reviewers or critics went into playing this game not knowing the kind of game it was planned to be. Now I understand everyone likes different things. Games, sports, movies, music etc etc, we like different things. But if I told you guys I hated The Last of Us, I've never played a Resident Evil game in my life, I hate Final Fantasy, I hate football games, some of you will be surprised. But that shouldn't deter you from playing them kinds of games. Because as we know guys, like I've said, people like different things. I personally like this game. I feel for the most part Biomutant is a great game. There are of course a few niggling problems I do have, but nothing that's seriously thrown me off playing. The problem with a lot of these reviewers these days, they thrive off negativity as let's not lie to ourselves, negativity gets more clicks. It's like there's some kind of chemical release within the human brain that feeds off negativity. And well, the title of this video proves that. I asked the question of, does this game suck? And while that's my question to all of these people out there leaving these negative reviews, because I personally feel the complete opposite and reading some of these reviews, I'm honestly confused at what game they expected going into this for the first time. I've seen people state, the world is empty. This for me is bizarre. It's an open world game. I mean for sure there are plenty of open spaces but usually, for the most part they're occupied by NPCs and enemies. But I guarantee you guys, if every 20 40 there is a death squad, that would be their complaint instead. Now I've seen people state the combat system is underwhelming, I just don't understand where this is coming from at all. I feel the combat system in Biomutant is absolutely great. It's actually one of my favourite parts about the game, with the amazing graphics and beautiful music which fits this game down to a T. I do feel this though within the early stages of the game before levelling up, because some of the combos you can put together, some of the things you are capable of, you have to progress and unlock said things. So it's like a lot of these critics only played for the first half an hour or hour, used a basic combo and thought the whole combat system was basic. I don't feel it's a fair statement to say that the combat in this game is underwhelming. What I will say is the sound effects within melee combat does need work. It literally sounds like you're hitting somebody with a plastic carrier bag full of feathers. But it definitely isn't enough to put me off the game or make me hate it. I'm seeing people state this definitely isn't a triple A game and isn't worth the price. Man, I've played triple that, I mean triple what a triple A game costs for Destiny, which is still broke. I paid 60 quid for Outriders, broke. Cyberpunk, broke. Anthem, broke. Yet Biomutant, an actual game which is what it set out to be, delivers on almost everything it promised. This isn't worth the money. What Biomutant is, is the ultimate chill, sit back, relax, take your time and enjoy yourself kind of game. This is the game I thought it was going to be. It delivered for me on that for sure. I just think people expected something completely different. I really do. To me the graphics are staggeringly good. The scenery is incredible. The character design is awesome. The combat system I absolutely love. The crafting system is ridiculously in depth in terms of what can be found and made here. The character progression system in terms of building your class is stupid great. And the amount to do is utterly staggering. And that's without taking into account the many, many, many side quests that are here on offer for you to find and complete. Yeah, for sure, some of what you do does feel a little repetitive, but what game like this isn't? I mean, there is so much going on between repeating back and forth quests. I honestly don't understand people when they stay, it's boring, bland and empty. Now, I don't have a problem with people who don't enjoy this kind of game. I mean, like I said, there's many games I don't enjoy. I do however have a problem with people who ignore all the good to blow up the small amounts of bad, to downright try and write off a genuinely good game, and that's what I feel is happening here. At the end of the day these critics don't have qualifications in reviewing games, they are ordinary people like me and you, they have an opinion on everything like me and you, don't let their opinion affect your opinion, and I'll say this now, don't let my opinion affect your opinion. In fact what I will say is, 
Most of the people, the critics, the reviews I saw leave negative reviews for this game, bigged up and hyped up Cyberpunk. What does that tell you? And yes, some of the issues pointed out I can understand. The narrator can be a nuisance. The fact he takes away from the character and other NPCs I do feel could have been worked better for the character relations between us and them. No gun weapon lock on, not a problem for me but I cannot understand it for a few. The confusing loot and rarity system, I understand this too. For me though, I like how depth it is, I kinda like how confusing it is, I kinda like how much you need to understand to make the most out of it, but that's just me. But instead of bashing the game because of these facts, I've seen and experienced this game's great character and charm and see it for what it actually is, a game made by 20 people over how many years. I feel for what this is, it's achieved wonders and well I like it, in fact I love it. The things I only look for in other opinions and reviews is the stability of the game, if there are present bugs and glitches. Watching out for these makes sense, but basing your opinion and enjoyment of what someone else says is kinda daft. Especially considering I've played this game for almost 4 days now, not had a single hiccup, never been kicked, never had a bug, never had a crash, none of that. Yet we have games like Cyberpunk which is full of bugs and glitches, yet for the most part it was bigged up before release. By all these reviewers, these critics who got the game early and played it early. Yet a lot of people went off their opinions, got the game and it was utterly broke. So yes like I said, if you're going to trust anybody here, trust yourself. Don't let anybody influence you into buying or not buying a certain game if you feel it looks good. Don't listen to me here and purchase the game if you don't like the look of it. It's as simple as that. If you don't like the look of this game, do not buy it. If you like the look of this game, I can guarantee you guys there's a decent chance you will love it like the thousands of others like me who also love this game. So yes, surprise surprise, people have different opinions. Don't base your opinion off somebody else's. Bio Mutant is one of the better games I've experienced over the past few years. I know a lot of games nowadays are overhyped before release, but I don't actually feel Bio Mutant was one of them. Yes, it does have a few issues here and there in terms of the way a game like this should play, but for the most part, it's an incredible open world action role playing game. As long as you don't expect too much, I guarantee you won't be disappointed. If you go into this game with an open mind and not listen to what anybody else says, there's a good chance you will enjoy it, and that's what's important here. So yes, don't take my word for it, don't take nobody else's word for it. If you think Bio Mutant looks good, looks enjoyable, looks fun, you like a game where you can sit back, chill, relax, take your time and enjoy it, this could just be the game for you. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Bio Mutant, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.